Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Yesterday I made this really fun glue bubble eyeshadow paper that was sparkly and bubbly and totally fun and um, I got some really good feedback on it and one lady would like to know how I'd use it in a card. So I'm going to show you. Um, so I trimmed a piece of paper down about, uh, I'd say three and a half inches by five inches. This is a five by five card base I made from cream cardstock and I'm going to adhere this down leaving a little space for some stamping and um, just for kind of a place for your eye to rest. I love the texture. It has a really cool, uh, you can almost tell what the texture is just when I run my hands over it. It's really, really fun. Um, I'm going to make a Valentine's card here. Now I did a bunch of um, washi tape strips a while back and um, I want to choose some to use on this card. It's going to be a Valentine's card but I don't want it to be overly, um, overly, you know, fussy. I want it to be kind of um, a little more Asian inspired. So I'm going to add a little bit of this washi up here. And this is actually some washi tape I made with actual washi paper and adhesive sheets and I'll save all my little scraps of that because I just really like that and then maybe another border I'm not sure if I'm going to use the same pattern or a different one maybe I'll keep it the same just to just to make it easy and uh, this paper here that I it was like little mice it was very cute little gold mice washi paper comes in such a beautiful array and this washi paper was from About Art Accents um, a stamp company that I use quite a bit trim that off there. I flip it over and trim it from the back because I can see what I'm doing a lot better and that way I can keep my leftovers right there on their, um, their backing. I had put this, I had um, won a Craytopia machine by Xyron and, um, and so I used some of the adhesive cartridges to make that tape. But you could always just glue strips of paper on there if you wanted to. A little bit neater. Alright, so I was kind of playing with my die cutter the other day and um, I we had some leftover vinyl from a Boy Scout project that we were doing. So I die cut some hearts from uh, from vinyl and that one's from paper. And um, the technique this week at Oriental Stamp Art was to use um, some cording. And I didn't have the Mizuhiki cord that they were using for a challenge so I decided I'd use some rat tail. And this is rat tail cord from Paper Mart. It's really great for doing... Um, not tying. So I just did a simple heart knot. And if you just go to YouTube and search um, how to tie a heart knot, you'll find a tutorial that will be much better than anything I could come up with, I assure you. Um, I, it's funny, I had to rewatch a tutorial because I knew how to do it. And something about knots, I cannot remember um, how to do them. Once I do them and then I forget, like almost instantly, unless I'm, unless I'm doing that technique a lot. Very hard time to remember how to tie a, a proper knot. So I got those two die cuts. and. I recommend when you buy die cuts, you buy die cuts that you're going to use time and time again because they are, they take up space in your craft room, um, they're expensive, so you want to make sure you get one um, that you're going to use over and over again. That was a Sizzix. Um, now, of course, if you follow my blog, you probably have, uh, you probably saw my video on um, cutting detailed die cuts. And so I had some of these, I cut a bunch of these. I was bound to turn, I was going to learn how to use this cheer, cheery Lynn die, and I'd cut a bunch. And um, so I have all these little tiny doilies, and I thought that would be really pretty on this card as well. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in the middle there. Um, I don't want to have gobby, yucky glue seeping everywhere, so. I'm putting this card upside down. I'll be really interested to flip this around and see how it looks, because I don't, I'm just kind of like winging it here. And I want this, uh, I want to put this down here. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think what I'll do is I'll open the card and adhere it on the inside. So just to make sure I have it in the right spot. I do kind of think it stands out a little bit better when I slide it over on top of the heart, so I think that's what I'll do. Well, maybe I like, I want it a little bit more centered. There we go. Um, and then I think I will just glue it down a little bit on the inside and probably I'll disguise that with a little bit of another strip of that washi tape later on but just for the sake of this video not being a zillion hours long I'm just gonna tack it down with a drop of hot glue that's my secret weapon hot glue I'm telling you I could probably build a house with foam core and hot glue my, my favorite things so easy to work with 
And then we're going to do a little stamping. And what I have here, I'm just holding that while it dries. I've got a couple stamps. And a lot of times when I'm doing a project, I'll stick stamps on both sides of my block just to save space. And I have um, one that says Happy Valentine's Day and one that's kind of like a heart. But, well, it is a heart, but it's kind of got the yin-yang uh, symbol on there. So we're going to be using that. And um, since I'm all gung-ho about my dies, <laughs> I uh, die cut a little um, label. I have two label sets, that's it, um, as far as spell binders, but um, that's pretty. I like that, so that's what I'm going to stamp the little icon on there. And I'm going to snip my, my string. And I'm going to just grab a piece of washi tape just to stick across there. Maybe I'll use this purple because it's kind of pretty. And that will disguise my... Um, um, unelegant middle of my card. There we go. I'll just stick that down there. Good. There'll be a little lump, but not a big deal. There. And just trim that right off. Okay, so you know what? I could, you know, decorate a little bit more, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, and then, get my ink here. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. It's not really that much of a secret. I'm pretty sure I've told you before. I like my coffee cup sitting there right in front and center. <laughs> my coffee bowl. Oh, yeah, I'll wait to have a sip until I'm done. Um, so, ooh, I don't know why this ink pad looks so strange. You know what? It, <laughs> it looks gross. I haven't used this ink pad in a while. I'm going to go get another ink pad because this is icky. Be right back. Good grief. <laughs> this one looks a lot better. I don't know what was going on there. It's... I don't know. I think sometimes those inks oxidize, and that was a uh, that's very odd looking. Um, all right, so um, so oh yeah, my secret is that I don't always put cushion on my stamps. Sometimes I just paint uh, some aliens tack it over and over on the back. It's a repositionable glue, and then I just slap it on my uh, mounting blocks. And for good my good quality rubber stamps, it works great. Um, sometimes I'm impatient. And I really want to stamp right away, so I'll use my mounting foam. But um, it takes up more space in my binders when my stamps have. Uh, mounting foam and it costs more so it's just a way to get a little bit more for your money um, I'm gonna uh, justify my um, lettering over to the edge I can't tell you if it's right or left because it's upside down I'm doing it on camera I don't really know my right and left <laughs> on a good day <laughs> right off the top of my head I'm awful I think I was supposed to be left-handed but I was trained to be right-handed I don't know so there we go we have happy Valentine's Day and on this little guy here I'm gonna stamp a heart Aren't you glad I did a video on how to use this? I don't remember who commented. Uh, I think I might have been Twinkle Toes today. I'm not sure. She's probably like, oh, I'm never going to ask her to do a, <laughs> a tutorial again. She's nuts. Let's stamp that there. And I always give my stamps a second or two for the ink to, uh, to transfer. Oh, that's kind of pretty. And I'm going to grab a color duster over here. And I think I'm just going to dust on a little bit of this. I'm using my kind of brownish, uh, reddish brownish color because duster, because um, that's kind of what this burgundy color is. I didn't want to have that overly red and pink. Um, look at that. I love my color dusters. Um, I didn't want to have an overly red or pink card. I want it to be a little bit, um, I don't know, a little bit just different for Valentine's Day. A little more sophisticated, maybe. Sophisticated, that's me, right? Nothing so sophisticated like Kraft Lindsay makes. All right. And I think it keeps with the Asian, or helps give it a little bit of Asian flair with that. Now I'm going to use hot glue to attach that because it's going to give me a little dimension. And I don't seem to have my little stickies over here that have the, uh, foam on them. So when I want to have a little extra dimension, I actually let the hot glue just kind of sit and congeal a bit before I tap it onto my piece here. Now, just, it sticks down, right? And then um, a little something else. So I think I want some buttons. So I've got these, you know, my fabulous 50 cent uh, box of buttons I got at Martin's. I want to have a few little buttons on there. And I don't know. Maybe I'll do three, because things look good in threes. I love buttons. 50 cent buttons. Yes, please. I want them to be different sizes, though, I think. Gotta hunt around a bit. I don't know, is three too many? What do you think? I think maybe it is. I don't know. Because I got one, two, three, four, five items here, if I just leave it like that. Um, so yeah, I think that's good. I, I also played with this. I was I braided some some raffia, thinking, hmm, I wonder I wonder how that would work, but I I don't think so. Maybe on something else. I don't think it's the perfect fit for this particular project. 
and you know you could thread string in it if you want to but I don't have any right here at the moment so I'm just gonna go right ahead and glue these down as is so you know that's pretty much it you can use that um, lovely paper however you want ah glue strings basically so um you know have a play with it make a card We'll zoom in a little bit better, a little closer so you can see. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up and like it. And until next time, happy crafting.